Today we are going to set up a rifter for tackling in combat. Now the rifter is a fairly good ship for this, but it does have some issues. The armor has only, only a 10% resistance to explosive damage and only a 25% resistance to kinetic damage. It is a fairly quick ship with a base speed of 384 meters per second. So we're going to go ahead and use this because the Rifter is one of the best frigates actually in the game for it, despite its obvious weaknesses. We're going to start with a small Armor Rep 1. This is going to be all Tech 1 ship, no Tech 2 required. To that we're going to add a 200 millimeter reinforced steel plate 1. There again using a Tech 1 module. That's going to add about 375 hit points giving us a total of about 907 armor points. We're going to um, add an afterburner. <coughs> we're going to need a local power manage diagnostics on this one we're done you'll see why later we're going to uh, use an afterburner but we're not going to use a standard 1mn afterburner the standard 1mn afterburner gives you a hundred percent velocity bonus and doesn't reduce any capacitor usage now another s popular thing to do is use a micro warp drive which is faster because it gives you a 500% uh, velocity bonus, but it does give you a minus 25% capacitor when you use that, so you're losing actual capacitor storage. Uh, if you look at it in the fit screen, if you hold your cursor over it, you'll see drops from 5 bars to 4 bars. You're losing a quarter, basically, of the capacitor with that. We're going to use a named afterburner, which is a micro hydropellant hydrazine booster. It gives us 112.5% capacity bon or velocity bonus, sorry, and doesn't take away anything from our capacitor. So that's a little bit better than a 1MN, which is your standard, but not as good as a micro warp drive, but we're still, we're not losing capacitor. So we're going to go ahead and use that named afterburner in this frigate. Then we're going to add a warp disruptor. I use the warp disruptor because it gives me a 20 kilometer usage range. I can turn it on when I'm 20 kilometers from the enemy. I don't have to worry about closing up being 7,000 kilometers from him like I would if I were to use a warp scrambler. So we're going to go ahead and put that warp disruptor on there. And we're going to use a Weber. Here again I'm using a named item. This is a Langer Weber. Langwer rubber gives us a um, reduction of 78.75%, which is pretty good. It's not too bad. So we're going to use that named Weber on there. Now that's going to keep him from being able, your enemy, from being able to warp away and being able to maneuver quickly. We're also going to use some 200 millimeter auto cannons. Now these are the largest of the small auto cannons. Now notice they only have a 1,000 meter optimal range. Now I'm not really worried about range with the ship because I have to be within 10 kilometers to web aim, 20 kilometers to scram aim. It's not a long range ship. This is a very in your face, I've caught you, you're not going anywhere type of ship. We're going to use this in a gang situation or a fleet situation to keep the enemy from running away. Now we're going to use EMP ammo. The reason why we're using EMP ammo is because it does do EM damage, it does explosive damage, it does kinetic damage. So we're doing three types of damage to him and the EM damage on EM ammo is fairly good ammo uh, damage. It uh, really does cut through shields fairly quickly. So we're going to go ahead and add the ammo to all three guns here. I also have some extra ammo in my cargo hold so I can reload that later. And then the final thing we're going to add on here is going to be the small Nosferatu. Now the reason why we're using a small Nosferatu is because this particular setup is a cap intensive setup. Once we start um, orbiting him, we start scramming him, we start turning on our armor rep because people are shitting at us, it's going to start draining that little capacitor on the frigate fairly quickly. That Nosferatu is going to steal the enemy's capacitor and he's going to give it back some to us. It 
moves about eight energy units every second, which is actually p quite a bit for a frigate of this size. So we're going to catch him fairly quickly. We're going to warp scram him. We're going to web him. And somebody else is going to be shooting him with missiles or big guns or something to do damage. At this point, we're fairly ready to go with a rifter setup for tackling. If you don't know what tackling is, maybe if you like this video, I'll do another one that actually describes what tackling is and show you something else. Thank you.